What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care, as I imagine you've read the title, I am switching to Twitch. Why? Well, basically, YouTube is against me. Very clearly, everything is weighted against me in regards to YouTube's recent system and actions lately. Um, I imagine I don't have to explain it too much, but I might as well anyway. So, uh, for those that don't know, I imagine it's quite obvious, I'm very much doing this as a job. This is YouTube, this whole content creation, monetizing videos and making entertainment for you guys is how I pay my rent. It's how I eat, it's how I do anything I need to do in life. That's This is my primary source of income. And yet, it can't be any more, at least not on YouTube. In the recent years, or the recent one year, I guess, and I'm sure you've heard of the big bad adpocalypse, and you've probably also heard from big news channels or just anyone that's not small saying that the small YouTubers are the ones getting hit the hardest. And uh, as a small YouTuber, I must say I probably would agree that I've been hit the hardest. I'm sure I haven't lost nearly as much money as the people that are higher up have, but at the end of the day, I'm already earning less, so when you hear that I've lost 60% of my earnings compared to 9 months ago, that's not a matter of, oh, now I can't buy this giant car, it's, oh, I can't even afford rent with this amount of money. In the last 9 months I have lost 60% of my earnings and over 80% of my views, because I recently found out, and I guess it's something I should have researched earlier, but oh well, if you have videos that are copyrighted or unmonetized because of YouTube's recent changing system, then it also means that YouTube doesn't promote your videos as much. Not so much in subscription boxes, but in general it just doesn't want to promote a video that's not going to earn it money. Makes sense. But considering that pretty much all of the content I've been creating recently has been copyrighted in an attempt to actually keep up my views by playing new games and because the uh, advertising system just likes shooting me down, it means my videos aren't being promoted either so that I'm now earning a fifth of the views that I used to, and it's simply not sustainable. The audience that I've grown over the last five years just can't hear me. YouTube isn't tailored for the new and little creators like myself. It's very much designed for the people at the top, and uh, I don't have a place in that anymore. So I'm switching to Twitch, which is a thousand times better. The biggest and most obvious one is the fact that it has a whole category system. You can view videos or streams, I guess in this case, by games, and you will see even the smallest streamer will pop up on that page, depending on, I guess, on how many were streaming the game, but still, I could make content and I'm actually noticeable. I'm not going to be uh, intentionally blocked out like the YouTube system has it. So it's very much my opportunity to create a new audience, one that can actually hear me when I start, you know, making my things. Unlike the YouTube audience, which has kind of been casted away. Not by the viewers themselves, but just by YouTube's system. Not to mention, as I've been trying to do in the last couple months, I've just tried to stay afloat on YouTube, but it's simply not rewarding. Like, whenever I make a pre-recorded Let's Play on my Daz Let's Plays channel, it'd be great fun that I'm having at the time, and when I'm editing it before uploading, it's great fun. I'm enjoying the content I make. You can probably hear this in the recent Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play that I've been doing. But the moment I start uploading it, I see that I'm barely breaking 300 views per video when I used to be getting over a thousand, and it just... It feels like I'm wasting my time because the audience that I'm trying to talk to, again, just can't hear me. YouTube has put a wall in between us and I'm, I'm just... I don't know. So because of that, I'm also not going to do any sort of pre-recorded content on that channel anymore. Live streaming has always been the highlight of the week. It felt like I actually had an audience when I'd do it because there would be that constant interaction with the chat that was just a million times more rewarding and motivational. So I'm gonna make it so that all the content I make from now on is most likely gonna be in the form of a live stream. There are no more pre-recorded Let's Plays. But also, going with that, I usually have about 12 hours a week to make content, and I usually use four hours of that 12 hours to do my normal live streams on YouTube. But since I'm only making live streaming content now, that means I'll be doing 12 hours of content a week on Twitch. And I do actually have a schedule planned out, though it's a little bit finicky, unfortunately. I am free during the day 
in the UK. So because of this, time zones are going to be a little bit finicky. The current schedule I've got started for the beginning is I'll be recording, or live streaming, I need to get used to saying that, between the hours of 10am and 6pm on a Saturday UK time, and 10am and 2pm on a Sunday. I'll be live streaming over the weekend, but for the most part it will probably be about night time in America. Unfortunately, I can't really make a way around that because I'm simply not available during the American nighttime schedule. But things might change over the holiday seasons and most likely next year when I move into another new place. On top of that, now that I have this opportunity to go to Twitch, I feel like there's a lot more content that can open up to me. I'm very excited to sort of expand a little bit more with the kind of content I create. Because of the way YouTube's been going recently, there's been a lot of series that I've been wanting to make for ages and just been too scared to do it. Anything like a, a long time RPG game I've been scared to do because I'm barely breaking 300 views on the episode 1 videos, let alone doing a, an, a series that's got like over 100 videos. It, it would just seem like a, a waste of time and effort. But on Twitch, it could very much be a, a, a sustainable option. There's a lot of things I want to create that I feel like I can only do now that I've got Twitch. Thank you, phone, for giving me a Snapchat notification. On top of that, also, I kind of want to do a little bit of Daz Reviews content on there. I imagine I'll use the um, IRL category for it. But it could be an opportunity to say, like, an um, important Pikmin Nintendo Direct comes out. It'd be cool to just stream that and react to it, which would be quite fun. But also, if a Pikmin 4 trailer just drops, I could do a very immediate hour, two hour long analysis live. You could see me going through the video for the first time and picking out all the things along with you. Maybe then it will also improve when I eventually make a, a pre-recorded video for Daz Reviews. You'd be there to help me pick out the things that I might not have otherwise seen. It seems like just a nice opportunity to create more a more close community that, you know, YouTube clearly is not about. Um, that's pretty much all the points. I'm going to try and keep this relatively short, even though we're going to probably end up being 10 minutes long. But to summarise, I'm giving up on YouTube because YouTube has given up on me. I'm going to be switching over to Twitch, where there'll be much more interactiveness between me and my audience, and hopefully it will just be a lot more rewarding. I'll be way more free to do the things that I do, and you'll be right there with me. I hope, because up to this point, the YouTube system has absolutely failed me. It's crushed me down and kicked me out and there's I've tried to you know fight back but it no nah, YouTube just doesn't allow it but on the Daz Let's Plays channel at least I will be um, uploading the archives of my Twitch stream so if you're not able to see them live you can see probably an archive on the Twitch website but I'll also post them on Daz Let's Plays possibly even as edited condensed versions for your convenience as well would be fair enough and Daz Reviews most likely we'll get more live stuff and it might have its normal video sessions. I'm not entirely sure with that. We'll have to see what works. I'll probably do a bit of experimenting, but we'll see how that goes too. But yeah, other than that, um, I am going to be a Twitch streamer as of now. And hopefully the transition won't be too difficult. Uh, my Twitch name is Daz Videos, so do look out for it. It's available now. I just haven't started streaming, of course. I'll be first streaming this Saturday. But yeah, um, that's about it. If you'd like to support me, then I highly suggest going over there and just watching me live, chatting as I go along, and it'll be a nice fun time. And if you want to go a little bit further to support me after hearing that I'm literally not able to afford rent with the amount I'm earning right now, don't worry, I've got savings, but still, it's a bit finicky. I do have a couple of donation options. We've got my Patreon page, which has always been up since summer, that you can very easily go to. Or Twitch has a whole bunch of donation options on top of it. There's a whole slew of things that are optional. Just go over to the Twitch channel, and I assume it should hopefully pop up there but it's all optional and it will just be a nice support to see you there anyway money or not but yeah that's about all I have to say I apologize for never being able to make a quick and short snappy update video but that's just the way I am apparently anyway for now my name's been Daz YouTube very clearly didn't care and I'll see you over on Twitch